hello fellow looters and those curious about what loot crate is apologize for the shakiness of this video i lost my camera stand so i'm having to hold the camera up now what we're going to be doing today is an unboxing of the february 2015 crate the theme for the crate is play for those of you that don't know what loot crate is it's a monthly subscription box. You pay thirteen thirty-seven plus six bucks shipping and handling. And as long as you keep your subscription current, they send you a box every month, guaranteed to have six or more items in it, with a value of at least forty dollars. So, again, I apologize for the shakiness of this video. I'm going to be opening this box one-handed. So. switch hands here real quick. I am actually right-handed, so this is a little difficult for me. There we go. And let's see what we got in February's box play. Well, for starters, <coughs> we have Crate Packing Simulator 2015. From what I understand, this box which, like all other boxes, has a design inside of it. You can turn the box into something. And this, apparently, turns into some kind of board game from the way it looks. <coughs> so let's go right into the box. First the item we have is... Cool. A hex bug. I got a hex bug scarab. I don't know if you have seen these in stores or not, but they're pretty interesting. They're just little mini robots. Stuff for uh, kids to have fun with, but adults can have fun with them too. Can't get it to focus or else I would focus it for you. <coughs> but it is a micro-robotic creature. Batteries are included. That's cool. Even shows you... Uh, a little diagram. Again, I am not focusing. Don't know why. My autofocus is not working on this. But you get a little diagram. It shows you where the power switch is, where the batteries go in. And I'm guessing, since it said batteries are included, I'm guessing they're already installed. So there's item number one. The Hexbug Scarab. Item number two in the box. I guess I'll get the biggest thing out of here. <coughs> it's a money world. Money world. Okay. Create your own vinyl art toy. Oh, I've seen these before. You, uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there they are. It's got markers inside of it. You can draw on it do any kind of design you want and I think it wipes off if you don't like what you do kinda of like a dry erase board yeah wipe off markers that's kinda of cool Heh. they drew a monkey that's what I was thinking that thing looked like it looked like a monkey Let's see what else is on here a description you can draw on monkey on money you can paint on money use pens pencils and crayons on money make things to put in money's hands make hats for his head or you can just leave money alone and keep money next to you for your company cute little thing who knows I might draw on it <coughs> let's see of course there is as in every box there is a button themed to the box, for instance, this one, the February 2015, it is the play. God, that's out of focus. And I think I've got like two or three of these now, as far as the buttons go, because I bought a couple boxes that they had on sale a while back, which that's another thing. Every once in a while, they'll have a sale on their website selling past boxes. So, 
Okay, next item. Super Fight, the Loot Crate deck. And from what I understand, Super Fight is kind of like a collectible card game. So, we have the Loot Crate deck, which might be interesting. I've never played the game myself, so it'll be interesting to learn about this. It says, this is a 100-card version of the viral card game Super Fight, designed exclusively for Loot Crate by Skybound. These cards are only available in this deck, and you can create hilarious fights with these cards, then argue over who would win in a fight between them. That's kind of cool. I want to open this so bad. I think I'm going to open it. Yeah, there it is. It opens pretty easy. Oh, and while I was opening it, I noticed there was something written on the bottom of the box. Let me see what the bottom of the box is. Eh, this is Super Flight. Super Fight, sorry, not Super Flight. Let's see. Take a couple of the cards out and see what they look like. Fighters are jousting. Fighters are bungee jumping t next to each other. Fighters are riding giant. Draw a random card character. <coughs> so I guess there's character cards in here. And I draw one and it tells me what the fighters are riding on. That's kind of cool. I wonder what the character cards look like, because there's no drawings on these things. Oh well. Doing this one-handed is very difficult. <laughs> so. But, I can do it. Uh, cool. Has the rules for anybody that's never played before. That works. Now let's see. There's more of the purple cards. Got some blue cards. Whoops, I dropped one. Great. On a roller coaster. Oh, okay. I guess these are like area cards. These purple ones are what the fighters will be doing. These blue ones are where they will be doing it. And let me pick up the card that I dropped. Godzilla's stomach. Okay. That's odd. There's also some black cards. Let's see what the black cards are. <coughs> okay, I guess these are situations. Wrapped in toilet paper. Can only be killed by a stake through the heart. Commands an army of disposable minions. Flaming hands. Throws water balloons filled with acid. I guess those are action cards. So let's see, we've got what the fighters will be doing, where they'll be doing it, actions, or I guess attacks, and then a bunch of white cards. Ah, uh, there's no drawings on them. That'd be cool if they had drawings. you got a Derby Girl, Godzilla... An ocelot. Let's see what else we got. A water buffalo. A sushi chef. A carnivorous plant. King Kong and Godzilla are in this. Cool. A grizzly bear. Prince Charming. An Amazon warrior. A raccoon. The player to your right. Interesting. So I guess... If I'm playing with more than one person, whoever's to my right <coughs> is who I'm using to fight with. A Yeti, a Hydra, Hercules. Huh, that's kind of interesting. Okay. I'll put those down. Yeah, and then they have symbols on the back. The purple ones. Locations, I guess. Locations, actions... Maybe I got those backwards then. Maybe not. Attacks are the black. And the 
white are the characters, apparently. Okay. I'm going to have to put those back in their little box later on. I dropped a couple more. <coughs> Let's see what else we got. A little felt bag. The last time I got a little felt bag, it was in one of the cases, the boxes that I bought before. Those crate. I think that crate had an Assassin Creed challenge card. So let's see, these are dice. I have no idea what's on them. And I got an open hand and a peace hand and a fist hand. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Let me see if the other one is like that. Open hand, fist. Aha! I don't know what exactly these are, but I'm guessing that they are something to do with rock, um, paper, and scissors. So maybe it's a dice version of rock, paper, scissors. That'd be cool. Then you wouldn't have to sit there and uh, shoot fists. Just shoot dice. Okay. Got those put up. <clears throat> what else we got in here? A book. Ready Player One. By Ernest Klein. It is a New York Times bestseller. Enchanting Willy Wonka Meets the Matrix. Okay, that might be a freaky story. Um, hi, Rocky. What are you doing? Come lay down. Okay, let's see. Back to this. Delightful, the grown-up's Harry Potter. In the year 2004, and again, this thing is not focusing, so... In the year 2044, reality is an ugly place. The only time teenage Wade Watts really feels alive is when he's jacked into the virtual utopia known as the Oasis. Wade's devoted to his life, or well, sorry about that, Wade devoted his life to studying the puzzles hidden within the world's digital confines. Puzzles that are based on their creator's obsession with pop culture of decades past. And that promise massive power and fortune to whoever can unlock them. But when Wade stumbles upon the first clue, he finds himself beset by players willing to kill to take his oh sorry, take this ultimate prize. The race is on and the Wade's going to survive, he'll have to win and confront the real world he's always been so desperate to escape. Hmm. I wonder what else he's written. This guy's written. Oh well. Something called Armada, but it's an actual novel. It's not some goofy little book. <coughs> so we got that. We have ah, we have what the dice are for. Instructions to the crate packing simulator simulator game. Welcome to Loot Crate's first original board game. The goal is simple. Be the first player to have all five items in your crate. So, we've got a t-shirt, a pair of 8-bit glasses, a Funko figure, a poster, and a button. Use the rock, paper, scissors dice to decide whom will make the first move. Once the first player is chosen, continue to use the rock, paper, scissors dice with these numerical values to move your game token. Cool. And of course, you know, rules. Rules, rules, rules. Nobody likes rules, but that's how you make games work. What else we got? Next item in here. Something about Firefly. The Callahan Full Bore Auto Lock Assault Rifle. Firefly Online. Cool. All you Firefly fans out there, we have a game for you to play. 
get ready to experience Firefly online in your very own premium ship, just like the one in Loot Crate's flyer, yeah, Firefly fan video. The verse available exclusively to Loot Crate. Ex blah, blah, blah. I have no idea why I'm tongue-tied right now. Available exclusively to Loot Crate subscribers. Visit the website right there, which I know you can't see because my focus is not working for some reason. You go to that website and download the Cortex, which is the app for Firefly Online, and it's a free app. You don't have to pay for it. Uh, you register for an account and log in with your username and password, and then you redeem, or, well, you click on the redeem button on the account, and you type in that code, and it gives you the ship, apparently. <coughs> and it says you must register in order to unlock the ship. Once it's released, or once Firefly Online is released, you can get the game on your platform of choice and log in with the same account you use to redeem your code. And at that point where you can buy your own ship, this spacious speedy transport will be available to you. <coughs> so once the game launches, apparently this is a pre-registration card. Once the game launches and they let you go buy your own ship, you already have a ship. So, sorry anybody that uh, can't see what that says. Yeah, that, woohoo, sorry. Or uh, anybody who hasn't signed up for Loot Crate yet, unless Loot Crate decides to give another one of these away in a future crate, you aren't going to get it. Sorry. Tough. Let's see what we got coming next. A box with a poster in it. Let's see what the poster is. And if I can unroll it with one hand. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I see the artwork for what looks like the Atari Pac-Man cartridge. Oh, this sucks. One handing things. Not fun. But yes, I think that's what it is. We've got the. Yeah. So it tells you, uh, or shows you how to take apart an Atari cartridge. I already knew how to do that. I did it when I was young. Way back in the 80s. So. <coughs> you got the artwork sticker. You've got the front casing. <coughs> You've got the game itself, which is on this circuit board. And then you've got the back casing. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. It looks like an Atari 2600 cartridge case. I've got glare, and I'm holding it with one hand, so... I'm pretty sure it's an Atari 2600. So, does that tell you how old I am? Yeah. Okay. That goes there. And its box goes over here. And then we have, as comes in every box, which looters you know, non-looters, this is the Loot Crate magazine. Every month, Every box comes with one. It tells you what's in the box, or well, it gives you descriptions of what's in the box. It also has some articles in it, and it is just like the box set to a theme, which the theme of the magazine matches the theme of the box. So, let's see what we got here. Let's play together. A bunch of little articles about different things. Ha! That's cool. 
<coughs> whoever wins this month's Mega Crate is going to be lucky. They are going to get that, 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 and it says there's six items. I only see five. Oh, no, six, sorry. That's item number six. So we've got item number one. It is the... DJI Phantom 2 Vision quadcopter with integrated FPV camera. The next item, item number two, is the Dremel Idea Builder 3D printer. Item number three is the Oculus Rift Development Kit number two. Item number four is the Lego Minecraft box, crafting box. Item number five is the Minecraft mine. And item number six is the Lego Minecraft, the Ender Dragon. And just so you know, the Mega Crate is a drawing done by Loot Crate. For all of its subscribers, anyone that's a subscriber is automatically entered. The Mega Crate is given out once a month, and you win all kinds of badass prizes. The crates are guaranteed to be worth over $2,000, and just to prove to you, I don't can't get one of my other magazines right now. I have the boxes put away for the previous month, but... Just give you a rundown on the prices of all these items right here. So you know that it's over $2,000. <coughs> You've got the quadcopter valued at $799.99. The 3D printer is valued at $99, or sorry, $999.99. The Oculus Rift development kit is valued at three hundred and fifty dollars so right there quickie math I'm not good at math in my head that's already two thousand dollars <coughs> now the Lego sets starting with the first one sixty four ninety nine second one is a hundred and nine ninety nine and the last one is fifty nine ninety nine so I mean that's definitely over two thousand dollars worth of stuff and it would be cool to win that. And, of course, if you're a Loot, uh, loot Crate subscriber, you're going to get to read this. So It's a little rundown of the controllers over the years. And the description of the items. Loot Crate is actually doing a contest using the money figure. It's got different categories to win. It tells you how to enter. So if you're a looter and you want to enter another contest, there you go. Here's the description of the book that came in it. <coughs> You've got the Super Fight Loot Crate deck and the exclusive from Loot Crate Labs Rock, Paper, Scissors Dice Game. You also have the hex bugs, and apparently there were six different types of hex bugs. You had the hex bug larva, didn't get that. You got the original hex bug, the hex bug ant, the hex bug scarab, which I got, except mine is orange instead of blue. You have the hex bug zombie larva, and the hex bug zombie scarab, which both glow in the dark. Those would have been cool to get. And, of course, you get the poster, the Waka Waka poster. And an exclusive Firefly Online, blah, 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 you already saw that. Oh, and apparently there are different cards. I got that one, sorry about the focus. There's three other ones. I wonder if each one has its own code on the back, or each one just has its own artwork. Anyway, 
we have the figures or the player tokens for <coughs> the game four player game apparently and for each of the items that you are supposed to collect that's cool and who knows I might play this get one of my friends to come over go over to their place and bust the game out <coughs> so I just dropped the book I don't know if you guys heard that so contention looter pull this tab and lay the crate the crate flat play our original board game crate packing simulator 2015 and same thing on the other side you open it up and it's the game board let's see but I'm having difficulties opening it but you get the gist of it. I'm sure there's like information or something on these sides to play the game. But it is a board game. Looks interesting. Okay, everybody. <coughs> well, since I have ran this video for 26 minutes, going on 27 minutes, I will end it here. Have a good day, everybody, or night, whatever time of you might be viewing this video and please like the video if you do also visit Loot Crate and if you're not a member sign up it's a pretty good deal I mean under 20 bucks a month and you get all kinds of cool stuff so alright everybody have a good night see you next month